It's interesting to look up the idea of direct radio voice. And one person I was told to go and look up this kind of supremo, as it were, in regard to this particular topic, is Marcelo Bassi. Now, I've looked into this kind of stuff in the past in regard to other people, and a person's been very insistent that I look up Marcelo Bassi. So I have done. And uh, I find his work to be somewhat unconvincing and probably up for trickery, to be entirely fair. There seems to be strong voices that come through his, well, radio. An old radio that he tunes through, gets a voice, seems to be convincing. A bit like if you're trying to get on Skype without a good connection, you know. Uh, it seems to be good communication. But I don't think it's all that convincing, to be honest. I mean, there are some people out there, and I've seen a few uh, articles out there, talking about how it could be faked. And I think those explanations aren't too bad. Uh, using a, um, a radio um, transmitter to interfere with the signal, to create a stronger signal. So it seems to be that this particular spirit signal is coming through. That means you could simply turn it on when you wish, and turn it off when you wish. Although there are other explanations. But basically the truth claim is, from the point of view of Marcelo Bassi, that he's a kind of medium in a way. But rather than working in a traditional sense, seeing spirits and passing on messages that way, so basically he operates in such a way with an old valve radio, which then picks up a voice as he's going through it, and it seems to be quite remarkable. It's the same voice, it seems to be very clear, it seems to be something that's quite genuine. But there are possibilities for trickery, and that's the problem. The reason why he's described as being a medium in regard to the radio is because the old valve radio that he uses only makes noise when he's near it. When he's not near it, it doesn't work in that way. It doesn't operate in that way. It doesn't seem to pick up any signal. It fails to produce any kind of sound. So for many people, it's best described that he's the medium. The radio is merely some kind of conduit, which is affected by his, um, his spiritual aura, as it were. But it's interesting to note that when it's actually been a question of controlled studies by numerous skeptics and scientists, the evidence is inconclusive. Now, it's possible that there could be something genuine going on. I'll give you that. But without conclusive evidence, once again, it's one of those things where you can't really say it is genuine. So you can be convinced by it if you wish, but without proper controls and proper testing to confirm a thing is actually true. What do you have? And of course, this is where some people uh, criticise James Randi, because um, they would say that this guy would win the Randi challenge because the protocols in, you know, in this kind of situation wouldn't be as they are with a medium and a sitter. And so there would be um, a need for a different kind of experiment. Um, I don't imagine there'd be much of a problem with that, with a sceptic test, whether it's Randy or uh, any number of other magicians, sceptics and scientists. But I do think that a lot of people assume that Randy would not wish to deal with it. Now, I do think if other sceptics and you know various scientists out there have not actually been able to actually pin it down in controlled conditions, it says a lot about the actual phenomena. So basically what the believers tend to say is that uh, Randy would simply attack it with ad hominem. Um, I don't think... Does he really do that? I don't think he really does that too much, does he? He may do, but I haven't really noticed that with any of his talks. And um, th therefore he'd simply dismiss it. He would say, oh, it's, uh, it's not suitable for the challenge. And then would simply not continue it or avoid it, perhaps. That's the argument from the believers. But as far as I know, there's no actual evidence for that particular claim. Of course, the believers claim that it appears to be real, repeatable, and evidence that, um, well, people survive death. When really, I don't think it's necessarily all of those. It may be repeatable, outside of controlled conditions. It may be real to the believer. But even if that all that's confirmed, it wouldn't confirm the afterlife necessarily. So it's still debatable. 
You've got cancer of the stomach? Are you ready for God to burn that cancer out? Here it goes in the mighty. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Jack, is it Popoff was being prompted by his wife through a wireless earpiece. Non sono d'accordo, la legge elettorale che uscirebbe dal referendum sarebbe una legge che crea una grande omicidata senza garantire che il Parlamento che ci toglierà vita, che poi si raggiunge, ma di lasciarci raggiungere prima degli altri, che in questo istante siamo chiedere una luce particolare. Mi è arrivato il punto di I want to be, if I can, as sure of the world, the real world around me, as is possible. Uh, what we're doing this for is to create a spirit communication device, uh, uh, commonly known as a ghost box, spirit box. What we're going to do is we're going to bend the top left spike on the top row with our screwdriver. You can see that right here, the top left screw, I'm going to bend that with the screwdriver. And what that will do is it will allow the device to scan in a linear fashion through the channels. Through uh, the channels in a linear fashion. And um, there's the quickest, fastest way that I've found to make a spirit communication device or or this particular spirit communication device to ghost box There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed.